So this is my settlement tour video of Kingsport Lighthouse. I have not done one of these things since like, I don't know, 2018 or something. It's been a very long time. So let's just do a very quick um, <clears throat> view of this place, of what it looks like from the top, um, with free cam and all that. So yeah, I put these this giant fence, not this giant, I put this fence around the side place here, but not by the coast so you can still look off. Anyways, so yeah, I, there's this kind of crazy scaffolding thing that I did up there. Let me get out of this stupid view. So yeah, here's the entrance. I, Minutemen Lighthouse, didn't know what to call it, so it's the Minutemen Lighthouse. A Minutemen um, statue here, since I'm the general of the Minutemen. That was kind of my theme, lots of uh, Minutemen signs and posters and all that. Um, a guard thing, have these turrets watching the main entrance. See if provisioner there. Um, over here I got this artillery spot for watching the main road up to the settlement. So I got that covered. On the left side of the settlement here I got all of my food, most of my food. There's a few spots here and there. I don't know what to put here so I just put a giant lion statue. Deacon, please. Not right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's this boxcar door thing. Um, this is where I imagine all of the synths would go because it's for the railroad. Kind of a little synth spot, I guess, for smuggling synths in. A outhouse here. Then I got all these, the, um, whatever these things are. I forgot what they're... I don't care, Preston. Come on, I'm trying to see what this is. Or whatever, it doesn't matter. You know what they are. Another guard spot. Put the scaffolding thing just so it doesn't look like it's floating or anything like that. Um, another guard here to get a nice view of the one of the spots where people would attack. Let's go on the other side real quick. So over here I have more of scavenging stations and then this nice scaffolding thing up top here to support this um, structure I added onto the main house thing that was already there. These nice little houses which are either for rent or for the trade caravan people here. I see them sleeping here now and then. But yeah, I kind of like how small these are. It's kind of compact little houses. Um, another actual entrance. I only did this because there would be like five cows and a bunch of people that would get stuck here and they wouldn't be inside my settlement. So I just made this nice um, gate here just so they can easily get in and out. And some turrets watching that entrance. Some little dining seats to look off the beach. Um, let's go inside the main house real quick first, and then I'll go down to the coastal area. Um, bunch of signs. This is like the, um, guard area where all the guards would be at, and sort of a lounge place. Some food for everyone. Lounge-esque area. Um, this is where all the beds would be for the guards. Some weapon racks for them, and then I covered the rooftop and all that just so there's no holes or anything. Um, a bathroom area. And then another lounge area with some seating arrangements to eat and look off the Commonwealth. And over here more just water. I have a ton of water at this settlement. Um, let's go down here real quick. So on to the right here I got my power armor museum. A crafting workbench and pretty much two of every power armor in the game. A raider. T-45, two T-51s, uh, two T-60s, and two X-01 power armor here. Sorry if I'm kind of going quick here. I'm trying to make this fast. Um, a lot of people, like, overstay their welcome with their videos, and I feel like it's too long than it really needs to be. Um, so there's more Minutemen decoration, a crafting area for all of the settlers, or for me. I don't really go down here very much. I'm, ma I'm mainly at my little resort at the very top of the lighthouse. I have a bunch of crafting stuff, a bed for the guard who would be, the guard that would be here. Um, some cannons, sort of for immersion, I guess, if I ever get attacked by the boat. That would be really cool if there were boats in this game of, like, raiders or something that could attack your place. Nice little walkway here. This place looks pretty cool at night. I might show that if I remember. Down here, I got a clinic, sort of a drug area. A, this is where the main um, power for the water is at. So yeah, there's a guy here who works a clinic. Kind of a more shady spot. Didn't know where to put this thing. I just kind of put a random spot here at the robot workbench. Made sure nothing is floating, so I put these wood 
um, wood thingies. I don't know what they're called. Then I put these the uh, wood flooring on top of the pre-existing pathway here. And then a little armored boat here. I got this idea from um, Ranger Dave. He made another settlement here. It's a very old video, but I kind of want to not really copy, but I got that idea of actually editing, of you know, putting stuff onto this boat. Uh, water still kind of goes through. But yeah, a bunch of beds, um, captain's quarters, and seating arrangements, and another flag here. I put these giant scaffolding here just for immersion, I guess. I know realistically this thing would fall and kill a bunch of people. It would not. Yeah, that would not work. It would not realistically work, but well, let's cow here. Um, yeah, so I just, it was more just from, you know, immersion, I guess you could say. Um, it's like a all the goods and services, all the stores are in these little places here. Let's go inside the lighthouse here first. Not really much going on. I'm going to just quickly go through this. This is crafting benches, um, <clears throat> some desks and seating. This is where I would imagine like all the waiting happens for settlers that want to meet me. Because like, you know, waiting room for the general. This is my private quarters all the way up here. Before I go here, let me just quickly jump down. I got these things um, so I don't take any fall damage. And then this is the main scaffolding kind of crazy thing going on here. First floor is a bar and donut place. This is from the Creation Club. I did not pay for that. I don't think I ever would personally. Not that it's not worth, well, I don't think it's worth the money, but there's some cool stuff on there. Um, this next floor, general, trader, shelving units. This next floor, armor, clothing. Kind of just put appropriate um, decorations and all that for them. Weapons thing with all these weapon racks. I like how I kind of have it. Looks like it's attached to the wall here. Some targets for shooting and testing your weapons. Max for a clinic, haircut place, and surgery. And I like how I did that. And there's all these um, neon signs here. I kind of just put a weapon rack and then put the neon signs over top of it. Just to kind of make it look fancy. And then this next spot is where I would imagine, like my settlers, not my settlers, my companions would stay. My uh, main spot is all the way up here. <laughs> I get the nice place. Um, and some, you know, the general. So over here, nice um, seating arrangements to look off the Commonwealth. Food, um, cooking stations here. Over there is my armory. First, let's go over here. All of my crafting gets done right here. Made sure I could get a nice view of uh, the ocean here. And this FPS is so bad. Um, a bed for me, all of my storage rooms, so weapons, armor, my all my legendary stuff. Um, this is like the another entrance area. We come in. I I couldn't get rid of this stupid thing around the lighthouse, so I had to. You know, I couldn't delete it or anything with console commands. So I had to move the roof just slightly up, and I can just make it in. So yeah, let's go over here first. This is where all of my collectibles are at, all my magazines, kind of a recreation room, I guess. Seating arrangements to look off Commonwealth and read. Bobbleheads, all of just some armor and stuff that I used to wear. Um, kind of a bar area, I guess. Nice little room. It's a tiny entrance. Another entrance here to the armory. Um, I might as well just go this way. Yeah, this is all of the guns in the game. Guns and melee stuff. Pretty sure I have every single gun in the game here. Even the DLC ones. Um... But yeah, these and ammo rack and all that. So I got the big guns here. Got the melee stuff, pistols, rifles. There's really not that many guns in the game. It's kind of sad if you compare it to New Vegas. But um, yeah, that's pretty much everything to this settlement. But yeah, then you can still go up top here as well. Didn't really know what to do with this. Kind of put some sleeping bags in the desk area. But yeah, I pretty much just built around the lighthouse. Tried to not touch this area. But I think it looks kind of nice. It's a little, it's a little messy, but um, it works. It's not perfect, but um, yeah, uh, yeah. Don't take any fall damage. If I ever just want to get down there, I can just easily fall down. I don't, I don't have to go up those stairs every single time, which would be annoying. But um, yeah, that's everything at my Kingsport Lighthouse build. Um, if you guys want me to do any more of these, just let me know. I have a few more settlements that I've built up. I'm pretty. Uh, been pretty obsessed with this game for the past few months. Actually, I want to actually show this off at, um, during the night time as well because I think the lighting looks kind of cool. 
on my neon signs lights oh my god this 21 fps this is one reason i don't like building too crazy of settlements because it's fun to build but then afterwards like i don't want to be here this fps is bad this is my main settlement by the way um but up top there it's a lot better fps for some reason yeah, this is just what the place looks like at night i think it looks pretty cool make sure to you know light the area all all the way up evenly with these um lamps and all that pretty much it there's not really much else i can show um i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you guys next time